Today we're brewing a Tisain with crystallized fruit juice in it, uh, black currant and cherry. And what we can do here is we can add additional fruit crystals. These happen to be mango, and those fruit crystals will be locked inside the sealed brewing chamber, and uh, they will be forced out into the cup under pressure and agitation. So for this, we're not selecting any holding time because the smaller particle size uh, doesn't require a holding time. Of course, you can always add holding times of 20, 40, or 60 seconds, but in this scenario, we are not going to have a holding period. Um, the crystallized fruit juice is actual real fruit juice that has been uh, freeze-dried, and those crystals... Um, under pressure and agitation really explode and create an amazing flavor, color, and aroma. We put these um, crystals in a, um, a dispensing mill like you would see for um, salt or uh, sugar and that way you can dispense with your thumb as many um, doses as you need. Typically it's somewhere between three to five percent of the weight of the tea or coffee. So now the air pump is kicked in and it's pushed the amazing flavor and aroma uh, out into the cup and um, we've got another amazing affinity infusion beverage. So just look at that deep dark beautiful color and just keep in mind the flavor can be any flavor that you can imagine because we are creating it with flavor crystals.